cut my build into pieces. Replica nerfed resort. Cowards for low-lifing. Velka's curses are so frightening. Replica last resort, but nerfed. That's right, got nerfed. And the same song every montage was boring me. So instead of that, I'm going to sing you a story. It all started when I was playing solo self found. Found a cool thing, it made a sound when it hit the ground. With my loot filled the rich on bright in a red tint. That's right, it was Grand Heist in a blueprint. My first time inside, I was so nervous, so excited. My passion for finding new items reignited. I triggered the alarm and started the extraction. Then I saw resort and it was sexual attraction. I saw this claw is beauty when the world told me it's trash. Nobody on Poninja would even keep it in the stash. And that's when I dedicated hours of my life whole to building this monstrosity and hoping it was like a bow. The problem was I posted it on social media. Then GGG saw and said you're having too much fun, friend. Took you like 100x at least to make this build. And though it's mediocre at best, we'll put it to an end. I understand that beating me up is their full right. Maybe it was karma for using damage on full life. So to be completely honest, if you're on the fence, this build is only decent and it is expensive. Hoping that this video won't mean it will get nerfed next patch i mean i die frequently but my mechanics are kinda ask me if i love the devs i do with my full heart i love the game and i will play every league start i'll give my time and hours making bills making miracles i'll never leave cause gg has me by the testicles that's why my voice is so damn high Replica last resort, goodbye. Alright, I'm just going to start off by saying that Moshi Moshi Kawaii is a very, very lucky player, and this build would not have been possible without him. The dude got a Farrell's Fur, six-linked it himself with Fusings, and then got the double implicit on his first try in a temple, and then gave it to me to use. Uh, so yeah, this would not have been possible without him. I have since given it to him to sell, so that's why I'm currently naked here. But I'll um, have the picture up here so we could talk about it. Alright, so just to explain the mechanics going on here, let's start with the belt. Coward's Legacy. Uh, we count as low life while we're cursed with vulnerability, and we are cursed with vulnerability. So that is how, even though we're on full life, we have the low life tag on our character. However, it's pretty dangerous. We have vulnerability and increased effective curses on us. Uh, so to counteract that, we use Viridi's Veil, which has the magic text that says, You are hexproof if you have a magic ring in right slot, which I do. Uh, this is something that still works because although I am hexproof, I'm still cursed. It just has no effect on me. So I still get the low life for the purposes of that. Uh, the other defenses this gives us is damage of enemies hitting us is unlucky while we have a magic ring equipped and take no extra damage from critical strikes if we have a magic ring in the left slot, which we also do. So that's why we're wearing two magic rings that have their curses on there for us. Kind of a bugger to try and craft, but oh well. Uh, and so we'll just talk about the other important things about this build. So mainly the enchant on the weapons you want plus one weapon range for 10% quality. It's a must-have, along with plus one to melee strike range on your amulet. That way you don't feel like a T-Rex when you try and hit things. Uh, that's part one. Part two is strike skills target one additional nearby enemy. Also super, super important. Um, and yes, this is the quality of life that makes it so... We don't have to be T-Rexes. We don't have to necessarily always aim correctly with our auto attacks. Uh, it'll just hit the thing closest to us. And with a little bit of forgiving range as well. Uh, and those are pretty much the important things. The other th really, really difficult thing is just to balance your resists. Uh, I'm using the Wise Oak 
because it's like really, really insane for triple elemental elemental hit. Balancing your resist is actual hell. So as you can see, I have 22 lightning here and 25 cold here. And then these boots, like it was just a pain in the absolute place to balance. So just fair warning ahead of time. Uh, but uh, the other thing I want to mention is that you can also try doing this build without using these items if you're using Petrified Blood, because that's now in the game as well. Uh, I used it while leveling, and it felt a little uncomfortable to me, but you could give it a shot, and maybe it'll work out for you. Uh, so the defense, the, the defense that I have built in here is, uh, one, we are using a lot of different auras. Uh, Aspect of the Cat we have on our gloves. Uh, it does not reserve mana when you're using Farrell's Fur. Um, and the cat stealth from that is a nice little uh, defensive buff. Not to mention, we are using Determination, Arctic Armor, and Dread Banner. Uh, so reduce damage, reduce damage, and enemies have less accuracy. Uh, we pair the Watcher's, uh, we pair the Determination with a Watcher's Eye. Uh, the additional physical damage reduction is pretty much the reason to use Determination, because my armor is not that high. Can I, not have um, I don't even think that's the best way to get defenses. I'm sure better builders will be able to find better places to get defenses, but here's what I was working with. Um, and for offenses... No, I'm not done yet. Sorry. We've got Fortify Support as well. We have... I'm forgetting things. Steel Skin on left click. And we also use Endurance Charges from this beautiful small cluster that gives us an Endurance Charge every second if we've been hit recently. So, that's that. Uh, for damage, we I've shown you all the main items. Uh, there's also Cinder Swallow Urn. Uh, enemies ignited by you take 10% increased damage. Well, we're constantly shocking, you know, chilling and igniting. So, that pretty much always happens as well. Uh, and we have Power and Frenzy Charges from using Aspect of the Cat. We have Elemental Equilibrium in our tree. Uh, we have Exposure, which comes from one of these things. Exposure, right here, Corrosive Elements. Uh, and we also have Sadist times 2. So we get loads of increased damage every time we chill, ignite, shock, which happens all the time because we are always critting. And we use a crap ton of jewels just like this. So as much multi as you can fit on a jewel. As much as possible. I mean, I was trying to be a bit budget because I wasn't that rich so these were like 5 to 15 chaos each if you are rich you can get quadruple crit multi on all of these jewels for like 1 to 2 exalts or something and then your your damage actually probably just like doubles if you were able to do that I, I wasn't able to do that but there's that um, so yeah just as many jewel sockets as I could grab I was just grabbing them all over the place Scion is, is fantastic for that uh, and uh, we also have Berserk Ancestral War Chief and I don't think I'm really missing anything else the biggest thing is if you have any questions about this you can always just come to my twitch and ask me because I'm always welcome to any questions about anything that I do um, uh, the other thing I'll just quick disla disclaimer I don't profess to be a master builder at all. Uh, I'm just having fun. And I like showing off the cool things that I might come up with that maybe other people haven't quite come up, come up with yet. So if you're able to take this and then, you know, change it around, make it way better, uh, and craft way better items, then please do. And uh, I, I just hope that I can, you know, inspire or give ideas to other people. Or, you know, just straight up entertain. So that's it from me. I hope to see you all at my Twitch. I hope you enjoyed the song for the montage. I don't know what I was thinking. I probably wasn't. Uh, in any case, I will see you all later. Here's some bamboo. You're one of us. There's so much to do in the land of pandas.
kind of annoying spawn patterns for these monsters. It's not all at once. It's one by one. It dropped two exalted orbs. What the frick? <laughs> <laughs> 